Assalamu alaikum and good morning to everyone. Thank you very much for this great turnout here this morning at the Hamnan Sports Complex to attend the press conference of the IPTL and the announcement of the UAE Royals, which are participating in the new format. Let me kindly introduce you to the head table here. To my very right, Mr. Sachin Gadaya. He's one of the team owners of the UAE Royals. Dr. Ahmed Sharif. He's the uh, General Secretary of the Dubai Sports Council. To my left, Mr. Abdurrahman Falagnas, Vice President of the Tennis Federation. Uh, Mr. Mahesh Bupati, the founder of the IPTL. And Mr. Savan Ravani, uh, one of the co-owners of the UAE Royals. So thank you very much. The Tennis League will start on the 28th of November in Manila. The group will then move uh, to Singapore, will play in Delhi, before the final stop will be here in Dubai. And we are extremely happy to have the support of the Dubai Sports Council and Dr. Ahmed Sharif to supporting us with this event. We are happy to host this event in Dubai, especially in Dubai uh, in Hamdan Complex. Uh, first time, which is the, the indoor tennis <coughs> will be uh, uh, in this uh, great uh, complex uh, with our uh, relation with the uh, uh, Royal Emirates. I think we will work together hard to create such an uh, excellent event in Dubai and we are uh, happy to host this uh, event. We expect uh, a good uh, sport tourism uh, from the region and even from uh, the board. Uh, we hope to uh, work together to, uh, as long as we can in future to also uh, come up with a new uh, idea because we have a good combination between uh, Hamdan Sports Complex as a great venue in the Middle East and also uh, a great uh, company behind uh, this project and also uh, uh, a unique relation between uh, uh, sports family in uh, UAE as the uh, Dubai Sport Council and the Federation, and exactly uh, uh, Tennis Federation. We are uh, also uh, looking forward to uh, see uh, in the future uh, a great uh, local player, uh, inshallah. Uh, thank you very much, uh, and if you will allow me, I will speak uh, for the Arabic media also, uh, such a small world. I am happy today that we will be able to participate in this tournament as a special tournament from the world tennis tournament in the world tennis سعيد أن لأول مرة تقام في دولة الإمارات في دبي وتحديدا يكون في مجمع حمدان الرياضي يعني يمكن المنطقة كلها راح تشاهد لأول مرة لعبة التنس أبطال عالميين في قاعة رياضية ضخمة أو صالة رياضية ضخمة تتسع إلى خمستاشر ألف متفرج ولم تلعب في المنطقة حتى الآن حتى في بعض المدن اللي هي خارج منطقة الشرق الأوسط كانت الطاقة الاستيعابية لهذه القاعات اللي لعب فيها التنس كتجربة يمكن خمسة آلاف متفرج إحنا أمام تحدي كبير إنه إن شاء الله تنتهي هذه الصالة. ومتوقعين أن تنشط السياحة الرياضية لاستقطاب عدد كبير من زوار المنطقة إن شاء الله زوار هذه البطولة ونراهن بعلاقتنا المتميزة مع الشركة المستثمرة ومع اتحاد الإمارات للتنس أنه تنجح هذه الجولة الختامية وفي ذات الوقت نحن إن شاء الله قريبا نشوف أيضا أبطال وطنيين محليين من دولة الإمارات إن شاء الله يكون لهم دور كبير في المستقبل. 
The International Premier Tennis League is also very happy to announce the partnership with the Tennis Federation. And to my left, the Vice President of the Federation, Mr. Falagnas. To congratulate the person to my left, Mahesh Bhupati, for this wonderful idea, and uh, which he has brought to fruition uh, together with his team, with Eric, and also uh, having the owners involved in this uh, uh, wonderful uh, ITPL. Um, we at Tennis Emirates, of course, are grateful for this wonderful league, which will finish off in Dubai. And uh, I'm grateful also to the Dubai Sports Council, His uh, Excellency Dr. Ahmed Saad, uh, for his support and his comments uh, that in future we will also hopefully have somebody from the UAE playing in this league. <laughs> Uh, it's a bit far away, but uh, we will work towards that. Uh, Tennis Emirates is uh, very happy to be in partnership with the ITPL and also with the Dubai Sports Council to make this happen and to see that it is a successful league which will continue to happen every year in the UAE, especially in Dubai. Thank you very much all. Thank you. We are trying to obviously create something unique uh, in the sport of tennis. It, it, tennis is a very individual sport and uh, the players don't often get to play team competition except for Davis Cup and Fed Cup. So the fact that we were able to get some of the biggest names in tennis uh, agreeable to play this I think is one of uh, our main USPs. When we wanted to uh, promote the idea. I think the obvious um, growth markets for tennis over the last 10 years has been Middle East and the Far East Asia. I mean, tennis has, you know, blossomed in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Doha, uh, China in so many different ways. So we, we felt that this was the right region. And, um, you know, I, I think I played the first Dubai Open uh, as a, a lot younger tennis player about 20 plus years ago. So I've seen the event blossom to become one of uh, you know, the leading events in our sport today. So I know the potential in Dubai. I was very fortunate to come across a young group of um, entrepreneurs and uh, very, very sports and ten te tennis enthusiasts in the form of uh, Sachin, Savan, uh, Rahul, uh, and uh, Kaushal and Kunal. So you know, these guys have taken it upon themselves to be the promoters and the gatekeepers of the UAE franchise. And as you can see, you know, we've got Nadal, we've got Djokovic, you know, in the legend, we've got Sampras coming to Dubai this year. So we're really lo looking forward to something special. Um, and of course, nothing can be done without uh, the support of the Dubai Sports Council, uh, Tennis Emirates, and uh, we're very <coughs> excited to have everyone supporting this event to make it something that the sporting community in the region will look forward to every year. So thank you all for coming and uh, looking forward to uh, a lot of positive media. Which can win us a trophy and most importantly a million dollars. We sat through together <laughs> and picked up a very good team. Uh, most of our uh, team players uh, have played in Dubai they're former world number one. Uh, one of them, our key player, is uh, current world number two as well. And uh, they all enjoy playing in Dubai. We have uh, the Monjit. We have Kip Sarovic on our team as well. And uh, we have one of the only Arab players, which is Malik Jaziri, playing for us as well, who's from Tunisia. If we are to look back, uh, a couple of months and, and uh, realize uh, it seems quite unimaginable that a group of six friends uh, fairly young uh, busy with their businesses shared one common passion and that is tennis came across this exciting opportunity uh, offered to us by Mahesh and today we're here uh, being
the proud partners and owners of UAE Royals. And UAE Royals, we feel, is strongly committed to further the cause, development, and growth of tennis in the region. And very soon, hopefully, we'll have players from the UAE featuring in the league and on the world map, hopefully. Great. Thank you very much.